hey, I'm going to answer the question right now, clear, via scripture, why I come against the heresy that you have to repent of your sins to be saved, because that is an attempt, a self-righteous attempt to keep the law and go the way of Cain to establish your own righteousness, rejecting God's righteousness for your own, okay? That's why I come against it because nobody can earn it by being good, okay? We're saved by the simple gospel. I'm going to give you the verse here in Hebrews. The simple gospel in 1 Corinthians 15, the death, burial, resurrection of Jesus Christ, fulfilling scriptures for the remission of sins. That's what we rely on. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and you shall be saved. Anyone who believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And then God's righteousness is imputed on our account by faith, okay? It's not by anything we do. Now, what people keep asking me is, well, Jesus preached repentance of sin. John the Baptist preached, no, they didn't. They preached repentance, okay? Again, of what though? What was the repentance? All right, I've told you before that in 2 Timothy, Paul reveals that as he was growing in God's grace and understanding the mystery of the cross, that true repentance was coming to the knowledge of the truth, okay? Now, what is the repentance they were preaching on? Most of the time when he say, repent ye and believe, he spoke to Pharisees who were trying to keep the law to save them, all right? Therefore, leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ, let us go on to perfection, not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith towards God, okay? So we're repenting of trying to keep the law to save us and of faith towards God. So whatever <coughs> system you're relying on, whether it's a pagan idolatrous system or the Levitical law, the animal sacrificial system, like he told in Hebrews, uh, if you willfully sin, there's no more sacrifice for sins. That willful sin was trying to go back to animal sacrifices and there's no more animal sacrifice for sin. See, there's no more sacrifice for sins because Christ died once and for all, for everyone. Okay, repenting of sin sounds good, but that's self-effort. And salvation is not of yourselves. It's a gift of God, not of works, not by righteousness that we have done, not by works of righteousness that you have done, but by his mercy he saved us. That's what grace through faith means. And the confusion is that these false preachers are saying it's grace through faith, but preaching works, you see? And it is a work to repent of your sins. I saw their works that they repented of their wicked ways. That's in Jonah, I've said it before. Their repentance was not of your sins, not trying to be good in your flesh so Jesus forgives you. It's that you're forgiven, turn towards him, repent of your self-effort, your dead works, your trying to keep the law for salvation. It's a free gift received by faith. So I gave you the scriptural proof of what the repentance is. And again, it's metanoia, change of mind, to turn from something, but of what? of our dead works and towards faith to the true God, okay?